it's 8 o'clock. Alexandros and Espina Tombolides are having dinner, as usual. But for the last three days, the Greek couple have been joined by a rather unusual group of guests. 18 members of a refugee family from Syria who found shelter in their house. I can really feel their happiness. These people hadn't taken a shower for 18 days. I did laundry 27 times and I still have two loads left. All of their stuff was full of mud. Just a few days ago, the extended family called this their temporary home, the Idomeni refugee camp, only 20 kilometers away. They slept outdoors in tents, like around 10,000 others here. It rained for days, many children became ill. Come here and look at this. Every night, I'm taking this cup, I have to take the water like this and put it outside. Despite promises from Brussels and Athens to build temporary accommodation, conditions here have not yet improved. Many here still hope they will be able to continue their journey. We are simply stuck and we cannot go back. Of course we don't want to live like this, but we have no money. What else should we do? For Despina and Alexandros Tombolides, it's a situation they couldn't just ignore. They drove the 20 kilometers to the camp and took the 18 Syrians back to their house. Suddenly we are here. From a miserable, miserable life to here, a very, very beautiful uh, life. Uh, about, uh, about 24 hours, I think it uh, really, it's a dream. I wait to wake up and come back uh, at Domini. And now all of them are spending their days together in the big house. The young people are often Skyping with the relatives in Germany. That's where the family still wants to go. This is not a solution to the bigger problem. We know that and they know that. But it gives them the time to take a breather and to carry on. Right now we are getting used to them so much. I think at the end we're actually going to miss them a lot when they are gone. <laughs> The Greek couple don't know how long they will be able to host their 18 guests. But expecting the Greek government to take better care of the refugees in Idomeni is, they say, hopeless. Yeah.